Hey folks, it's Pat here. I got a chapter seven question today that I wanted to share with all of you um, just to show you uh, this guy right here, standard normal probabilities. All right, this this problem unlocks a lot of other ones, and so uh, the quicker you knock this one out, the quicker you get to some more of the advanced stuff. Um, and these are really easy to do because basically all it's doing is asking you to find the probability that you would have a z value that's less than or equal to um, 1.70 or greater than, or sometimes you get these ones. Actually, I think all the problems have these where you have them in between the two. And so all it's doing is asking you to use the Alex calculator here to figure out what's the probability. And fortunately, they give us a button that does that for us. The only thing that you have to be careful of is notice which way the sign is facing. See how this one is less than or equal to? This one is less than or equal to? And so if you have problems that match up like this perfectly, you can just punch them in directly, 1.70, okay, which gives us .955 on this. Now this should make sense. All right, so think about it. For Z value on a standard normal distribution where our mean is set to zero and every standard deviation is one, most of the observations, 95% of them, are gonna be low this Z value, okay? 1.7 is a pretty high Z value, okay? But these ones are a little bit different right here, okay? Notice that it's looking for everything greater than that. Okay, and so whenever it looks for anything that's greater than that, you got to subtract it from one because this button will always look for everything to the right. Okay, so one minus this, okay, gives us 1.71. You can punch that in directly, but understand that we're just looking for that little piece to everything to the right of this now. Okay, and so that's going to be 0.04. Four. <laughs> you gotta be careful with rounding on these things. Okay, and so just pay attention to which way the sign is facing. If it's facing in the exact same way as this button, then you can just punch it in directly. If it's facing the opposite direction, you have to subtract it from one. And these are pretty straightforward too. You can actually punch two of these in a row. So all we're doing is looking for the, the, the probability of finding the Z value that's between 0.22 and negative 1.10. So we can just take this one, subtract this one, and it'll leave us with whatever's left in the middle. And so, for example, we can take this one, so 2.20, and then add another one right here that is negative uh, 1.10. Okay, you can just punch that all in there at once, hit enter, and ta-da, there you go. So 0.85. Zero, and think about that. So two dot two zero is a pretty high z value. Negative one dot one zero is a pretty low z value. So that's going to cover most of the curve. So it makes sense that we'd find eighty five percent of the of the observations in there. Let's go ahead and check that. And there we there we go. <laughs> Although uh, <laughs> Alex says it's customary not to start a number with a decimal point. Blah, blah, blah. All right, Mr. Picky, at least you took my answers. So maybe put a zero in there first. <laughs> okay. So, but you can see that these all line up exactly the way that I showed you before. And so just remember with the Alex calculator right here, if it matches up exactly with this, just punch it in directly. If it's on the opposite, so if it's looking for the opposite, just subtract it from one. And if it's looking for these two, take this one, subtract that one. And then you're, of course, you're left with what's in between both. So hope that helps with this chapter seven problem. As I said, this one unlocks a lot more. If you get jammed down upon it, please let me know. Uh, ping me if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you at the next topic. Take care now. Bye. Thank you.